Hello again. In front of me, I have a couple of interesting cameras. They are the same model, I've just got two of them. Um, they are the Kodak EasyShare V610 model. And this camera was developed and marketed in the year 2006. It's quite a slim camera, but it's a little bit weighty and it has a full sort of metal case to it with a little bit of uh, edge in here which I believe feels like plastic but um, nevertheless it feels like a quality item it has a uh, battery which can be charged um, with a charging point here if I turn this on I can show you it goes straight into an auto mode and as you can see on the front it supports a lower and a top lens so the lower one is for the um, lower sort of um, part of the zoom so basically this camera is touted as being a 10 times zoom so going from 38 to 380 mil so the bottom camera would be used for the closer shots and as you basically uh, want to pull in more um, of distance so you want a higher zoom value it then switches over to this top one and it's seamless the way it works so if I show you here it, at the moment I'm right out and you can see on the marker that I'm actually using the bottom lens so if we then zoom get to a point where it flips over and then it's using the bigger lens at the uh, at the top so very nifty and probably would make a good travel camera because you're less likely to uh, break something like this because it doesn't have a protruding uh, lens so there were some decent Panasonic cameras uh, the TZ sort of travel cameras and um, they're nice cameras to have but um, they do have they do have a protruding uh, lens so let's have a look at some of these controls so at the moment it's on the default uh, camera mode and as soon as you turn it on it's got the default auto and there's a couple of options here you can select a macro and you can select a landscape mode or go back to normal um, what you can do is you can override all of those scene mode You've also got options to select a very good panorama mode. So the camera itself will uh, do that bit of uh, stitching for you. And um, there's sport, landscape, macro as we've seen already, night portrait, night landscape, and really, yeah, party, self-portrait. Loads and loads of things on here that you can select. So um, a nice, a nice easy camera and uh, as soon as you turn the camera off and turn the camera back on again, it will automatically default to the auto mode, which for most people, and if you're gonna take a picture in a hurry, that's uh, that's what you probably want. So um, that's pretty cool. The other thing it's got is a video mode. And the video mode is a standard 640, 480. So a little bit old school. Um, looking at the camera, we've got a microphone on the front and a very small flash here there's also a speaker on the back here so um, for the video mode if we start taking video now you can see it's just doing its thing and we are zoomed right out if i zoom in it might struggle to focus being pretty close let's try I can't select any uh, macro mode obviously that's just for photos but the really good thing is is you are able to do video and you're able to make your video with the ability to zoom in and zoom out and I do know that some of the early uh, digital cameras didn't let you do that so uh, that's pretty good that's uh in fact let's just go back to camera I'm just going to show you how powerful the flashes if it will let me uh, select it so what do we got a false flash um, oh it's on the top okay there we go so it's charging up 
that's a little indicator there to show it's charging and uh, let's just try taking a picture you can see it's sort of lit up there so um, one of the shortcomings would be to say uh, the flash because it's quite small and um, it's not going to light up much in the way of detail so um, probably better as a good sort of travel camera outside in bright sunshine really really good at that um, another thing as well to mention I'll just switch this off a sec is it's got a standard SD card in here now what I mean by standard this is the early type so this would be um, the SD card uh, where the sizes went up to four gigabytes so it won't take a SDHC card so if you do come across one of these cameras and you're having trouble um, using the memory on a memory card I mean it has it has actually got internal memory that you can uh, record to but it's very limited you only get half a dozen pictures on that so you will need a SD card um, of the right type for this camera and also um, probably a bit of a drawback is is it's quite a small battery so you'd probably want to have a few of these if you were doing any traveling and um, you didn't want to run out of power as, as you were making your way play, to places so it's important that you've got a backup um, battery for that so um, apart from that though I would say um, it's pretty good and the screen is uh, fantastic really it's a it's a really nice screen you know what I've gone and put the battery in the wrong way haven't I let's uh, flip it over yeah so as you can see it did let me put the battery in the wrong way but didn't actually do anything so let's go to review the other good thing about this camera is it had a um, Bluetooth uh, feature and that allowed you to send your pictures to a computer to then send on so uh, you didn't have to use wires so that was pretty cool um, the review there you go you can see that and also you can watch video as well so let's uh, let's try that oh, I'm doing everything wrong here aren't I so you, anyway at least you're getting to see a few things and there's the video let's stop that a minute um, there's options in here so if you press the share it gives you the option here on how you'd like to um, deal with your video or picture so you can either send it by Bluetooth you can tag it for email um, favorite as well so the favorite is is quite an interesting one because what it enables you to do is to well actually if I show you if I select favorite okay and then if I go to this button here this is the favorite button this will okay it's not doing it <laughs> it's only working for pictures so that's good to know so let's just go back and let's go to uh, review okay I'm gonna make this a favorite now like so and then I'm going to go to favorites no pictures and favorites plus review okay so it should be coming up and maybe the favorites for some reason perhaps because it was um, saved to internal memory instead of the uh, SD card that might be why it didn't show up straight away there um, let's just go back make sure because I took the battery out it's probably decided to uh, save internally instead of to the uh, no, it's set to auto okay so it should be good all right let's just take another picture then all right now I'm gonna tag this as a favorite and now I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna take another picture and I'm not I'm gonna go to favorites and it's telling me no pictures in favorites press review for recent pictures or videos so something not quite working there although you can see 
it is a favourite on there. Okay, let's just go back again. Yeah, not sure. Not not entirely sure why it's not uh, allowing me to add those to the favourites. Surely it can't just be internal uh, memory, but who knows. So, um, yeah, I just did this short video so you could just see um, what was around in the year 2006 and it was actually quite a nice camera and um, probably something that you could just about get away with using these days as a kind of holiday snap sort of uh, thing so for six megapixels um, it's pretty pretty good really so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll do some more in the future thank you very much bye for now